Ladies and gentlemen, children of all sizes and ages, welcome to the great one and only legendary Masters Legacy YouTube channel. Today, we have the very special epic challenge. We already did the challenge and an unfortunate turn of events. We lost at six. As you can see here, it had like the perfect counter to my deck. So I, I couldn't really do much. It's a fair loss. Um, here, um, I just lost. I don't know. No excuses. But we did win quite a bit of games. So let's see. Uh, this is the first one, second one. I'm going to show you guys the third battle, I think it was. No, it's this one. I'll show you guys this one. I was using the Zap Bait with an Inferno Dragon. <clears throat> Throw the Goblin Barrel first, see what he got. Doesn't have anything for it, so we then we throw in... Let's pause that right there. Let's pause that right there. Let's, let's, let's watch that in slow motion. Look at this. Look at this, guys. So we throw the Goblin Barrel first. As you can tell, he does nothing, right? He then drops the Electro Wizard in the back. And from here on, we're going to drop... We're gonna, we are going to drop the Goblin Gang to go after the tower knowing that he doesn't have anything. And he keeps pushing on the right. While he's pushing on the right, he has an Electro Wizard, a Lumberjack, and minions. He then goes ahead and clones them all. And down goes everything almost immediately with that Fireball. Perfect timing. I didn't expect him to drop that clone, but I'll take it. I took it and... We were doing great from then. I thought he was going to quit just because he stopped placing things. But apparently he was preparing for his push. He was going to do a golem. Golems are pretty scary kind of for my deck. Just because I don't have a lot of heavy tank cards. The only thing that will take out that golem is that Inferno Dragon. And he does have the Electro Wizard. So I have to use my spells to counter that Electro Wizard at all costs. I drop the minions. I'm going to take out that golem. But the golemites are going to protect those minions. And they are going to damage my tower heavily. They are going to damage my tower pretty heavily. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going at him with the pushes. With the little chip, chip, chip. He's going to drop the dragon. Baby dragon on the move. Drop the inferno dragon to counter it. And we're going to start pushing again. We do that counter push knowing that he dropped his golem. You know, we know he has no elixir. We're going to take out his second tower. We drop the... The what call it? The skeleton army to take that out. He's gonna clone everything. Gonna try to take out my tower with his second push. It's running out of time. He has nothing left, and we're gonna fireball little skeleton Larry for the win. You go, Larry. Subscribe if you guys love Larry. Drop that like. Larry gets the win for us in this game. Now I'm not sure what other games are good games. Uh, we can watch this one. This one's pretty good. Alright. We're going straight into it. Gotta build up that 10 elixir. I drop Inferno in the back and he drops minions. I had to protect my Inferno so I dropped the other minions. And then I drop a minion horde. I throw that goblin barrel. I'm gonna zap everything. Try to get some few hits on that tower. We lower it down to 1876 and we still have a full tower left. He hasn't touched this. Is this complete domination? I doubt it. It's not. He does have a Lava Hound deck. So his push has to be pretty big. As you can see up top, he does have a balloon. At the time, I did not know he had a balloon. But as soon as I saw that, that Lava Hound, I kind of expected it. We're going to drop those. The Horde to distract them. The Zap did not take out the minion. He does have a lot of little baby Lava, what are they called? Lava Pups attacking my tower. None of them really do much damage. Goblin Barrel gets arrowed. Minions on the move once again. And they're getting stopped by a Mega Minion. The Mega Minion, I could just leave alone. My tower will take care of it. Easy peasy. Goblin Gang going after the tower. We're going to zap a bit. We're going to get more chip damage. He does drop the Goblin, his, go his own Goblin Gang to try to defend that Lava Hound. He does drop then a Balloon. He clones it. We zap it. We drop everything. Barely do any damage to us. A little bit of chip damage doesn't hurt that much. We are going to stop and cancel his whole push. Then we throw that Goblin Barrel once again with the Goblin Gang. 
behind it, we get a little bit more chip damage. He then drops another balloon. He drops another Inferno, I mean Inferno, I mean <laughs> another Lava Hound and clones everything once again. He does do damage this time. This time the balloon actually got to the tower. He drops us very low. I'm going to drop that minion horde and I have to get that tower down. I am very nervous at this point. He drops the clone because he knows he doesn't have anything. And we take that W with the goblin barrel. Then after that game, we do lose the two more times. So it, it kind of finishes there. The other games are not that interesting. They're just, you know, pretty plain. I do win with like one crown. My first loss. I'll show you guys a lot. I'll show you guys my last loss. All right, guys. So this time we're still running the same deck. We never changed it throughout the whole six wins. He arrows my thing almost immediately. He zaps it for his second spell. So I'm like, okay, he can't possibly have any more spells, right? What else is he going to have? A log? So we go with air. We're going to fireball that. And he drops a tornado. I'm like, wow. But I didn't put wow. I don't know why I didn't put wow. I was pretty shocked, though. He then cycles to his zap. He's going to cycle to his arrows pretty soon. The skeleton <laughs> reached my tower. Blows it up. Well played. Very well played by his side. He drops arrows again. This, there's like nothing I can do. And I'm like, should I waste that fireball on that musketeer? I decide not to. I'm going to push the second tower. See what I can do. Maybe it'll work. He drops minions to defend. The problem with an infernal dragon is that if you have nothing defending it, nothing backing it up, it will just die alone. I'm gonna push to the other side. He does arrow and then tornado my my whole push. So that finished off there. He's gonna come back after my tower. We're gonna try to do another push again. It's not working no matter what we do. We can't seem to get it through. I couldn't think of a plan fast enough. I just arrow his zap his tower, fireball him. I'm like, I already lost. There's no point of this. Good game. Very well played on his side. So let's get into the openings and see what we got. We just collected our first epic. Let's see what we get. Yay! Right. Giant skeleton. Great. That last game was intense. Let's just open this up. We get six rage. I mean, like I said in previous videos, I don't use epics, so none of these are really like crazy for me, but six rage is six rage, so I'll take it. So unfortunately, we did lose at six, uh, just because at the very end we fought, we had to battle somebody with the complete counter to our deck, and that made us lose. So let's just open this right up. 600 coins, 9 minions, or minion horde, 13 regular minions, and 3 rockets. Good. I, I like the rockets, so I'll take those. Alright guys, thank you guys, that's all we have for today. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget, leave a legacy.